What is up, fellas? Today, we're taking it back and doing something that we've done from the start of this channel, and that is we're pattering some shells, and today's shells is the new Rogue TSS. We got the Stoger M3500 that we uh, used last year, and we have the red dot sight on there once again, and today we are sighting it in and patterning those shells. So follow along, I hope you enjoy. Roll that intro. You want some apple juice? What are we about to do? We're about to kill ourselves. What are we about to do? Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go up there. We're gonna get a turkey from Walmart, dude. Dude! Yes, sir! What are you doing? What That's you a big board! What are you doing? Let's go! All right, so right now we are going to put up our cardboard boxes at like 20 some odd yards or or just the yardage we feel comfortable at. Make sure we don't shoot nothing else around the house. And uh, we're just gonna put a nice little black dot on said box, which I'm kicking around at the moment. And we are gonna make sure that our light bird loads um, test uh, semi close with the red dot sight that in then we'll send some long beards down XR long beards because they're cheaper uh, Send those down range at 40 yards and then finally we'll send the rogue ammo down and uh, We'll see how it tests. I'll make some last-minute adjustments and then we'll see you know how it patterns and all that so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and uh, be sitting in my turkey vest and kind of give it a real-world feel to how it should pattern so that's what I'm gonna do at the moment. All right, so we are here sitting in my new Alps Impact turkey vest. And right now we are gonna go ahead and start off with these universal Winchester rounds. And we're gonna go ahead and send them down range just to make sure that my turkey gun or you know red dot sight is close to the target and we're going to basically where the wad and you know the BBs hit uh, since we're so close we're just going to kind of make sure that that red dot is on that so it is centered up for further down range so it's basic stuff um, and that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now I'm going to put my earmuffs on and we're going to go ahead and send this down range all right, so the box shot high and right, just a little bit, not too much. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it though. Last time I did this with the Apex, um, which is another video put right, actually it's right here. Uh, I shot the Apex and further down range, it wanted to kind of float up to that section. So I think when I put the sight on, it kind of, jimmied itself to where it, it was supposed to be um, at least that's what I'm hoping so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the 10 inch circle uh, sheets that I made and we're gonna go send a long beard and then we're gonna send one of those rogue or we'll send two long beards we're just kind of gonna fiddle with it make sure we kind of get the pattern right the long beards uh, seem to pattern pretty close to what the TSS patterned with the apex so I'm hoping the same goes for the rogue so that's what we're gonna plan on doing I already have something out right there I guess I can't quite see because of the Sun but we're gonna go ahead and grab those put that up I already said that and uh, yeah so I'm gonna do that call me a pansy if you want but I can't wait to get my 20 gauge in that you'll see in a later video whenever it comes in and uh, finally get that working because those three and a half sure do kick my butt and that's for sure all right looks like we have to move our pattern over to the right is what it's looking like so I'm gonna go ahead and do that spare you of all the boring details that come with setting it up and uh, get you all to the good part the TSS so here we go all right fellas you see me right back here holding my gun today 
we have finally made it to the the finale of the show and that is the rogue ammo so i had the nine shot in three and a half inch 12 gauge rogue ammo uh brand new tss company uh, i've only seen them coming out this year i think they just started um so i'm gonna go ahead and give her a whirl and i figured y'all would be interested i know there's not much out there uh regarding these uh these shells um i shot another xr longbeard xr those i don't know why it took me so long to think about that shot me another longbeard xr got it kind of right where i want it and uh now it's time to send the big boys through so we're gonna go ahead and throw those earmuffs on and uh send one down range all right so just shot recently got this apex uh or not apex uh alps uh turkey vest the impact vest i'll uh put a link to it right here or a, a little card or whatever they call it uh, i started using that vest first time ever shooting out of it that sucker was kind of rocking me not gonna lie that was uh those tss loads they really give you a really bang really I, I can't even think but it, they really give you a, a solid just kick so this tss flew a little bit differently i'll go ahead and show it to y'all uh very nice pattern you i don't know if y'all can quite see it uh i'm gonna have to take this in and put a uh, draw a dot here and do a 10 inch circle and uh count up the pellets but the rogue ammo did a really nice job uh definitely killing a turkey with that it, this is the center of the pattern i still would have killed a turkey when i was aiming here but i'm gonna have to drop that down a bit uh, which won't take but a second on my scope uh the best thing to do guys and i'm gonna do it myself and i need to, so I'm, I'm just letting y'all know best thing to do dedicated turkey gun uh buy a box of whatever tss or whatever um do the little sight in things i did earlier send it down range get it dialed in so burn that whole box of five as painful as it is cost you 70 bucks or something like that just to start it up have your dedicated turkey gun never take the sight off and always do that uh, it'll save you a lot of time and money in the future and that's what i plan on doing with the said 20 gauge that i do not have um right now that i was supposed to get but that's a whole nother story so i'm gonna go ahead take that down and uh draw that circle up for you and i'll be inside my kitchen and we'll uh we'll do a little dissecting of the pattern there um i'm going to mess around with my gun a little bit more and get it dialed in for this turkey season um so i'll see you in the kitchen i got a little bit of work to do see you in a second all right ladies and gentlemen we are back as you can see it is sometime later because it is dark outside but instead of going in the kitchen like i said we are going to be sorting out this pattern thing inside of this room not like that matters or anything but this um this new shell the rogue ammo it performed phenomenally i couldn't be more pleased with it uh i was about to say that it did better than apex but then i realized that the apex that i used uh was a seven and a half and nine uh blend and not just straight nine so there's not as many pellets or bbs inside of the actual uh shell itself so this was nines straight up and it performed so well as you can see we got a nice uh just full pattern there's nowhere in here that a turkey could stick its head that it wouldn't get um you know like 10 or 12 or 20 bbs in its head i mean it is just it's just a nice full pattern and it's real tight as you can see there's not really much um outside of it so this would be okay for even a further shot than 40 yards uh depending on what uh your gun will allow and what setup you have 
Uh, over here you can see that I was using the Stoger M3500, an Indian Creek 0.665, 40 yards, 490 BBs inside of this 10 inch circle. Uh, it was 50 degrees and a five mile an hour wind. And the 50 degrees and five mile an hour wind, that is just a perfect replica of what a morning would be like in turkey season. Uh, so you can expect sort of the same sort of flight uh, in those conditions. Not like that it would have too much of an impact on it, but if there was any, um, it should mimic uh, just like what your turkey season will be, depending on where you are in the nation. But this pattern did a really good job. I am gonna probably, for from here on out, stick with nines uh, because there's just more BBs that are in the shell. Therefore, you know, you have more uh, on paper down range if you have a good quality shell. And as we can see, this shell is a good quality shell. And the owner of this Rogue, I believe makes Jeb's chokes or has something to do with them. And I'm using an Indian Creek. So I may have to end up buying a Jeb's and try it out with that because I'm sure that's what they tested with. Uh, and I'm sure that they had more pellets and it was more designed towards that choke. Now, I could be wrong and it could be just as good for every choke. So, uh, I may have to just go ahead and test that for y'all. But I wanted to be one of the first people to pull it out and, uh, and show it to you. There wasn't much out there, if anything. I didn't find any YouTube videos as of today. And this is the day before you'll see it. And uh, I figured that turkey season is getting so close that... If y'all are gonna make a decision on ammo, you gotta do it now because things are running out of stock. So I figured I'd just go ahead and send this one out for you and uh, hope you enjoy. So like, subscribe, comment, do everything y'all can do as viewers. I'll see you on the next one here at Big Money Outdoors. God bless.